Hi guys, uh, your workout to start the week on Monday the 8th of March. Uh, we've got like a, a really sort of simple but effective triplet for you to get stuck into. Okay, so uh, three movements, got some goblet squats in there, uh, some single leg V-sits and some press-ups. So a good mix to work a little bit of everything. Um, and the rep schemes, we've got a kind of increase in then decrease in ladder. Uh, so it's 10 reps of each movement. For your first round, so 10 squats, 10 single leg V-sits, 10 press-ups. Then next round you'll do 20 of each, then 30. Okay, it's a tough round in the middle, high volume, and then coming back down again. So 20 of each and then 10 of each. So that is uh, 90 reps in total, 90 reps to get through. So a fair bit of volume, but hopefully the way um, the reps work, you can kind of keep moving at a decent pace you know once you get through those 30s you're pretty much home and dry although still 20 press-ups to go uh, 20 and 10 press-ups which could be pretty taxing in there okay so pretty straightforward um three nice simple but effective movements for you to get stuck into okay um as far as your warm-up goes uh, so just got uh, sort of three three similar rounds like to work through here uh, just to get your body prepped and ready uh, so starting off just working through um, 10 lunges 10 sit-ups and 10 glute bridges so just real quality movement through there uh, then moving on to 10 single leg RDLs okay so just nice slow and controlled on them keeping your balance uh, five walkouts to Cobra Okay, and then five um, groiner rotations. Okay, so just to open up those squat positions and then to finish off the final round through. So just 10 air squats, uh, five walkouts to press up this time and then 10 single leg V-sits and then just finish off, get a feel for that way. Just get yourself 10 goblet squats in there. Uh, move through that nicely, so fairly short, but we'll get you nicely prepped and ready to go without uh, fatiguing you too much on the actual movements in the wad, uh, and you should be ready to get stuck in. Okay, so quick demo on your movements and warm up, but so fairly straightforward. What we're after in there, so for your goblet squats, remember we're looking for all that weight just set in front of the body, okay, so kettlebell or dumbbell. Okay, as long as you can hold it high up and close to your body, just settle it in as comfortable as you can. There's a few options for doing that, and then just that real quality squat. Okay, so hitting that range every time, heels planted, chest up. Okay, by all means move fast, but don't get lazy. Okay, so you can get into a nice rhythm through those, but try and avoid, you know, that leaning forward or going into the toes. Okay. So your goblet squats, then we've got your single leg V-sit, so same as ever for these. Starting um, just flat body position, straight arms all the way through the movement. Legs as straight as you can at the top, but always starting straight. And then that compression at the top, that nice big range of movement up, squeeze, get all your back off the floor, get that leg up nice and high meet in the middle and keep that coordination there okay um, scale down you can go with some sit-ups in there you can make these harder if you want to start and finish in hollow okay and do your single leg basics from there that will add an extra bit of spice and then we've got your press-ups so again decent volume of press-ups and fairly high volume at a time once you get into that set of 30 and the 20s even, especially on the way down. Just making sure we're maintaining that position. Holding your range of movement. Okay, and just avoiding, especially on the way up, that snaking, or leaving those hips low. Okay, or the other one that we sometimes see is the hips staying high and just pressing like the upper body. Okay, so just getting that body staying in one smooth line okay so um yeah there your movement as far as your warm-up goes we've got your lunges sit-ups uh glute bridges okay so for your glute bridges just nice and steady through these always brace the abs first drive up and hold 
Okay, so no rush through these, great movement, just to work proper mechanics. 10 nice solid reps with a pause at the top. Uh, we've got your single leg RDL, so again, no rush for these. That single leg nicely balanced. We're coming forward, hinging at the hip. Okay, not touching the floor, just hinging forward, keeping that nice strong back as we come forward and not rounding through the back and just letting that back leg raise up. Okay, you can control the descent, keep your balance, drive up as fast as you like as long as you've got good position. Okay, then we've got your walk out to Cobra uh, and now for those groin rotations. So again, the walk out, nice and smooth and solid. For your Cobra, we're in there. Spend a bit of time there before you walk all the way back in. For the groin rotations, got that groin stretch, so kind of foot forward, hips pushing down and forwards so you feel that nice stretch in the hamstring. Uh, or in your groin, and then rotations from there. So you do five each side on those. Okay, uh, and then we've got your air squats, walk out to press up, uh, and then into your single leg V-sits and your goblet squats. Okay, once you've finished that warm up off, just get yourself prepped, ready to go, and you can attack this workout at a decent pace, um, and then probably just Slowing down where you need to, strength wise, I imagine for a lot of people, you know, if you're single leg V-sits, press ups are breaking down. Um, it will definitely get your heart rate up, but I imagine that's probably not the limiting factor uh, for most people. It's going to be just that muscular endurance and strength, um, especially through the V-sits and the press ups. Okay, so enjoy guys.